Welcome back, guys. So SNK just dropped some information on how to unlock a couple games on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. We know there's 20 games locked in this system with the 20 games that we have access to, but today they're only letting us unlock two. Where's the other 18? It's okay, I guess. They said they will unlock more in the future. They're just giving us a little taste right now. We get Metal Slug and Metal Slug 2, so I'm going to run you through this process real quick. They do have this PDF here. Earlier it was just in Japanese, but it looks like they finally got the English one up. Explains how to do everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and run you through this real quick. It is very simple. So make sure you have a USB drive that you wanna use for this process. You're gonna be plugging that into the back of your system after you download these files to it on your computer. So let's go ahead and get the Metal Slug key. Boom, I'm gonna put it on this USB drive named SNK, why the hell not? Metal Slug 2, go ahead and get that one. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into this drive here. So we're gonna to have to unzip both of these. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, unzip, extract here, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of those. So if you just wanna do one at a time, which doesn't really make sense, um, you could do it that way, but we're not. So you're gonna go ahead and go into whatever the first one is. We have Metal Slug 2's first. We're gonna to get to the CD key here. We're gonna take that to the root of the drive. So now we have this CD key folder with Metal Slug 2.cdk, whatever you wanna call it. CD key, CDK, it says CD key, I don't care, whatever. So we're done with that one. We're gonna get rid of that just to make sure we're not getting confused. And then go into the Metal Slug 1, one, go to that CD key folder and get the CD key for Metal Slug 1, put it in the root of the drive, get rid of that, get out of here, put that into the CD key folder. So on the root of your drive, we want to unlock both of these games at once. You're going to have the CD key folder on the root, open it up, and you're going to have both of the CD keys in there. Do not change the names. Don't do anything. It won't unlock the games if you do it that way. So from here, we're going to go ahead, remove the USB drive, and plug it into the back of our Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Turn it on in console mode, and I'll show you how the process works. So on our system, you see I already have Metal Slug and Metal Slug 2 unlocked. For some strange reason, mine just unlocked it without me selecting anything. Um, but what you're supposed to do is, if you see in the bottom right corner, that little icon means that you have a USB drive plugged in. If your USB drive is not recognized, it will not show it. I will put a link in the description of the drive I'm using because it seems to be a little iffy. I'm using a Samsung drive and it works just fine, but if I try to use a SanDisk drive, it doesn't work. But if you use one drive and it doesn't work and you have others, like really small drives, doesn't matter, an old drive, try whatever you can because you're not downloading games here. These are just little one kilobyte keys that unlock these games. So don't spend any money unless you have to. I'm just putting the information out there for what I use in case people are interested. So once you have that set up, plugged into the back, it's recognized, go to the little settings icon down below, click on it, go to system, and then just simply go to unlock. Now, right here, it will show the Metal Slug and Metal Slug 2 pictures, and then you'll just confirm it, it'll unlock it, and you're good to go. These will be added. You no longer need the USB drive. They are unlocked permanently. Nothing else you have to do. You see they have the little SNK little lock thing up there. It's like, hey, uh, we gave this to you. Yay, no you, no, you didn't. It was already on the system, damn it. But whatever, right? So let's check these out real quick. Uh, see how they perform. I would imagine they perform all right. I mean, haven't had any issues with the other games, but here we go, Metal Slug 1. It would have been really nice if they would have um, had these games unlocked from the get-go because, oh, we got blood. We got red blood up in this bitch. That is nice. So, hey, we don't have the, the sweat in this version. We got the blood, so that is cool. Um, but if they would have had this stuff advertised from the get-go, I think more people would be interested because not everybody in the damn world watches YouTube and watches my channel and my videos and other people who talk about this stuff, you know, people will be interested in a device like this and they see like, oh, it's just fighting games. Man, that sucks. I don't want that. And like, not everybody's on Twitter to follow SNK to know that they're going to eventually unlock games, right? So it, it kind of was a missed opportunity because I think more people would have been interested in this thing if they knew, hey, this has Metal Slug on it. This has, you know, whatever else, Shock Troopers. You know, just games that weren't only fighting games. Like, people want to experience Neo Geo. They want to have a selection of Neo Geo games. Sure, Neo Geo was predominantly fighting games, 
but there was also a lot of other cool stuff. So kind of kind of weird that they did it this way, but hey, kind of cool at the same time, I guess. I'm not really complaining that much because I've known for a while now that this was the way things were going to go down, essentially. Um, you know, this system also has five gigabytes of free memory on it. And from what I understand, SNK has told some people, not officially yet, but they've told some people, and I've talked about this before, that they're going to offer downloads so you can add games. Um, are they going to charge for it? Probably. I mean, why would they just give us free stuff? Like, if they charged for these unlock keys, I'd be pretty damn pissed because the games are already on the system. But if they want to charge for some additional games, uh, if the price is right, I think some people may be interested. Um, if they put some new stuff, that would be really cool. But you also have to remember they have the Neo Geo 3 that they're going to be announcing next year in 2020. Uh, as soon as I have more information on that, I got people on the on the case, man. Uh, we'll be talking about that more in the future. But there we go. That was Metal Slug 1, you know, performing all right. Um, you know, they're using whoever's uh, emulator. I don't, you know, I've heard it's uh, an older Neo Geo emulator, but it seems to do the job. Works just fine. I think this is a neat device. I have been digging it. Really think this is, you know, kind of cool. Still would have rather had a uh, AES Mini, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But, hey, why the hell not? So let's get out of this. Check out Metal Slug 2, which Metal Slug 2 is notorious for some slowdown. It just happens. It is what it is. Nothing you can really do about that. But let's, let's go ahead and check it out. That's why they did Metal Slug X. Um, but it's still a cool game to have on here, so why the hell not? Let's jump into it. We got the blood in this one too, so that is good. No complaints. Glad we have those options there. Would have been nice if we could switch between AES and MVS mode. Um, but, you know, that's the way they wanted to do it. But there we go, guys. Really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Um, hopefully this helped really cool don't know when they're going to start announcing more games to be unlocked i mean sooner the better right more people would be interested but ah they should have just unlocked them from the get-go so really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and with that said i will catch y'all next time peace out bye-byes and boom bye blow this bitch up